Hey, Mercury! <laughs> Venus, would you mind not doing that? Yeah, sorry. I do that a lot. You know staring at the sun is bad for your eyes, right? It's just, the sun hasn't talked to us in months. The last time he saw I was his father or something. I believe that talking helps everything, even if we shouldn't be able to talk due to the laws of physics. I agree, but it's just the two of us. What kind of a difference would we make? Not without us. We overheard you, and we agree. The sun never acknowledges us. Yeah, I say let's give him a piece of our core. So I guess my ideas are the best, right? Right, sorry, and my ego shine there. Guys, I know, but even with the four of us, we still wouldn't do anything. How about me? Ah! Jupiter, you could've destroyed us! Well, I didn't. Anyway, the other Jovian planets agree, and we're with you. Wow, okay, I did not think we would basically have the whole solar system. Okay, let's go. You okay, Neptune? I haven't felt this warmth in billions of years. Huh. Where are all the planets? What in the name of the galaxy are you all doing? We don't think it's fair that you never talk to us. Huh? What do you mean? Earth means that you never speak with us. For the past few millions of years, you've been busy working to keep the entire solar system safe, that you never have time for us. Ever since Earth developed intelligent life, you've been trying to make the solar system super safe. I'm just trying to protect you. Life is so fragile, a single asteroid could... You know what happens, right? 66 million years ago, I got hit by one, and yet my life is better than ever. All we're saying is that maybe we can take it easy. You're overworking yourself, son. You know, you all are right. In fact, why not we fix our relationships with each other? Wait, what? Yeah, with our insane solar system, you all never get to hang out with each other. So here's what we'll do. We'll go through each one of us and state some cool fun facts about us. And share more about what makes us, us. Everyone get in line based on your orbit. I'll start first. I am the sun. I am the center of the solar system. I am the biggest, hottest object in the solar system. I can use hydrogen into helium to produce energy that makes it shine bright. And my goal is to make the solar system the best it can be. Now you go, Mercury. Um, hi. I'm Mercury. I orbit the closest to the sun and I take 88 Earth days to orbit the sun. I also have the largest core compared to size. Probably why I'm the smartest. <clears throat> right, I'm uh, also the smallest. Hey, I'm Venus. I'm the second planet from the sun, and also the hottest, literally. I trap heat under my atmosphere like a big oven, raising my temperatures up to 864 degrees Fahrenheit. And I also try to make sure everyone is happy and doesn't crash or get ejected or, or anything like, like that. I am the Earth. I am the third planet from the Sun, and I'm the only one in the known universe to develop life. No matter if I wanted it or not, I am proud of it, and I try to keep it safe, even if sometimes I push my friends too much. I also have my amazing moon that helps me with my access so I can have seasons. I'm Mars. I am the fourth planet from the Sun. I have the largest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons. I also used to have life, but luckily it didn't last long. I am also very dry and dusty. How I act and my surface. Yo, I'm the king of planets, Jupiter. I'm the fifth planet from the sun or whatever, and I'm the largest planet, the oldest, and I have a storm bigger than the whole Earth. Plus, I'm like a billion times better than Saturn. And I have the biggest moons that I guess I'm respecting now. Hi, I'm Saturn. I am the sixth planet from the sun. 
I am the most beautiful planet of them all, with my gorgeous rings. I am the least dense planet, which means I can float in water. I also have a moon with an atmosphere. I try to share my beauty all across the solar system. It's your turn, Uranus. Don't be shy. Um, hi. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, uh, my name's, uh, <clears throat> Uranus. <laughs> Uranus? <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. Right, Saturn? <laughs> 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 Both of you, no. I am the seventh planet from the sun and the coldest. I also <clears throat> smell like running eggs, man. <clears throat> At 90 degree angle. <laughs> oh, you're chilling me here, Uranus. I am Neptune. I am the eighth planet and the last planet from the sun. I am the windiest, approximately 900 kilometers per hour. My orbit also takes 165 Earth years, and I'm the 30 astronomical units from the sun. So yeah, pretty far and lonely. Neptune, it's the rules. Sadly. I am happy to hear from all of you. From now on, I will become closer to all of you. N not not literally. You're going back? Yep. Just like usual. Hey, son. I have a question. Hey, Earth. What's the word? You have a great personality. Um, thanks, but do you know who Thea is? You don't know who Thea is? Well, Thea is. It's no one, is. it's just, um, uh, an idea. <laughs> Come on, Earth, let's get back to your orbit before you, uh, get burned. Every single second, everything moves away from us until we can't see even galaxies. And even in this dark, harsh and cold universe, we only have each other. And the worst thing you can do is make someone feel alone. But as long as you have friends in this universe, it isn't as dark as you think. Even in this huge universe filled with trillions of stars, there's still more to discover, hidden in the shadows, listening, Watching.